hi all welcome back to my channel so today in this video I want to demonstrate one uh, important feature that I figured out while using uh, jQuery selectors in power automate desktop when building an automation challenge so uh, as you all know right we we can utilize jQuery selectors which actually helps to build strong and stable selectors for our web automation purpose and I usually use it uh, when coming to web automations uh, rather than uh, depending on the selector builder features of the power automate desktop because there are multiple functionalities that that are associated with the uh, jQuery selector which can help us to build a strong uh, selectors or I could say complex selectors out of that so there I found uh, even though there was some challenges or there is one challenge which I always have with this jQuery selectors with respect to like finding the text which I found that there is a solution that we can uh, that is uh, one of the power automates feature that will actually helps to resolve that so let's directly go straight into that feature so for that let me start with this RPA challenge website so that I can give you a simple idea of how that feature actually works so here uh, so here uh, this feature so first let's try to uh, capture the selector for this first name input field okay and let's and after capturing the selector of the first name input field using power automate desktop let's rewrite the selector to a jQuery mode okay so let me just first capture the selector for the first name input field okay okay now I will let me click on done okay let me click on edit and let me rewrite that selector okay do a jQuery mode even there is no restriction that like uh, only jQuery mode works here you can even write uh, in CSS selector also for this particular first name input field so for writing in the for writing the jQuery selector so what I'm trying to do here is I'll be uh, first trying to figure out the uh, label field which contains the first name and then I will select the next input field corresponding to the next to the label that is how I will be finding the first name input field so let me first write uh, see uh, jQuery for the same okay label this is how we write the jQuery selectors right so okay now I will need to find the input now if I select it test it oops I think I missed up anything uh, label dot contains uh, oh oops I think I should have used plus because when we use a space it represents the child uh, sorry yeah you see it populates it uh, highlights the first name input field now I sh for validation I'll be just using uh, test again see it corrects uh, correctly highlights the first name input field now now I will rewrite this uh, selector in a different way okay here you see I am using contains operations so what does this contains operation will check is whether this label tag or label UI element contains a first name as a text or first name as a string okay but this operation won't be useful because this is checking a uh, whether uh, this uh, label UI element contains first name as a string maybe uh, the UI element would have a name like first name is this one so it will just check contains right it doesn't do a exact match it just do a partial match so here instead of utilizing uh, like this way what we can do is we can uh, write something like this also using text feature equal to okay so this is another way you can write it using the text feature so if I just test it see 
it correctly correctly highlights the first name input field now i just submit it oh sorry uh see it correctly highlights the first name as a input field and you have to remember one thing here this how this text actually appears so this text attribute this text attribute is not coming from the jquery but it is a uh, one of the feature uh, in the power automate desktop so when whenever you try to indicate a ui element let's say i'm trying to indicate this label input field okay so now uh, if i click done sorry i think i should have indicated it again mm, maybe sh showcase okay sorry i think i should have okay maybe i should have uh, yeah i should have did it again okay that makes sense sorry uh, 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 yeah here i will right click on it and you see there is a capture based on text so when we select this one see it is asking uh like it, what it will do is it will create a text based selector like it will try to select that ui element based on the text content so when you click on capture you click on done you click on done now if you see the select generated selector right the generated selector something looks like this it will have a text attribute the same text attribute i have used when i was building my uh first selector for the first name input field and this has been included in the jquery selector okay and this is how you can do you can uh, include an exact match in your jquery selector using this text attribute okay so that's what i have did here okay so how this would be helpful for this rpa channel you find that even you use contains or equals it's it you can highlight the input fields correctly but there are certain scenarios where this contains will be a limitation okay so this i have been found in one of the website which i was developing a use case okay so this is a simple automation challenge which i was trying to perform but there i found this uh, this contains as a limitation even though i know that this jquery this contains would be always a limitation because it do a partial match right instead of a uh, full match so actually let me show you where this e text actually was actually this text feature was useful so let me go to the edge and this is a financial transaction website okay this is an automation anywhere board games i would say one of the good use case which if you want to practice so here what i was doing is i was trying to capture this payment account and payment amount value the problem here is uh, due to uh, some challenges in the data scraping i was not able to do it properly so then what i did is i reverted to another approach like uh, what i did is for each transaction i try to capture the payment account and payment amount value so for that purpose what i did is first i captured all the text this transaction text values transaction 1 transaction 2 transaction 3 transaction 4 etc then what i did is based on these text values i tried to find the payment account and payment amount values got it so here what i did is so let let me first uh, capture payment amount and payment account or let me first capture payment account okay so when i capture payment account see yeah see this input id you see this payment account one and this payment account this is an id okay this id is unique for this transaction one uh, its id should be payment account one for this id for this transaction to its id should be payment account 2 if i just click here you will see that okay. see payment account 2 and if i just uh, select this one it is payment account 1 right so this uh, id value keeps on changing based on the number here 
so you can even uh, create a jquery select or a css selector where this number you can uh, create as a variable and increment it but there is one more easy way to do that how is it like i already told you like uh, what i did is i generated a selector which will consider this transaction one text value as an anchor and then it will try to select the payment account one or payment account payment amount value respectively so here uh, what i did here is uh, so let me uh, write the selector for the same so what i did here is uh, so here if i just uh, go here see the this h4 tag contain the transaction one as a text value so what i will do here is first i will find the position of first i will try to find this ui element then based on this ui element i try to find the parent element of this uh this particular transaction one ui element which would be this form ui element and from the form ui element i will try to find its child uh, ui element which is payment amount account or payment amount value any of them okay so oh, let me write a uh, jquery selector for the same so maybe it would be quite easy so should be like uh, h4 dot so i will write in the contains operation first already i have a uh, variable which stores this transaction values okay so that is transaction okay h4 contains transaction and based on this i will be writing form dot has now what i will do in here is i will be uh, so form dot has so the form is a parent element now i want to find its child element for finding the child element i will be doing is input id so here i want to find the payment account right so if you see the payment account id always change right payment account 1 payment account 2 payment account 3 so here what i will be doing is i will be writing a contains operations here so what i will be using id should contains payment account now so i'll select this one here i will be writing transaction 1 yeah it indicate the correct payment account now if i do another test with transaction 2 Yeah, it select the transaction to payment account correctly. But here there is one problem. If you have observed for transaction one, what happened is uh, it indicate the UI element correctly, but there is there are some duplicate element has been detected by the selector. That we will see. Yeah. You see when you you see this simple the simple represent that there are multiple UI element found corresponding to the selector. why it happened because when using transaction 1 this checks h4 contains transaction 1 so h4 contains transaction 1 there should be one possibility is this one another possibility is this one transaction 1 see another possibility is this one another possibility is this one because these all contain ends contains transaction 1 right so this creates a problem but for transaction 2 Uh, there is nothing which starts with transaction two, right? So that is a problem with contains which I observe. Like it do a partial validation rather than a full validation. So if there was a full validation, then things won't have been much complicated, right? But the this text can play a very important role because using text you can uh, resolve this issue easily. How? Let's say if I just write something like. Uh, uh, what i will do here is i will just write text equal to okay maybe it has indicated it maybe i, uh, I think it has moved out maybe let me just try it again it has indicated it but i just want to showcase 
like uh, maybe out of visibility we, we didn't see that right so see but here this time you see it has indicated the correct u element means unique u element now if i use uh, transaction 2 Uh, it is correctly validating all the u element let's see if you want to test it for transaction 10 yes it works perfectly right so by using this text approach you can actually have a what you have you can have a uh, uh complete validation right instead of a partial validation and this is where this will be useful actually because for me this jQuery selector one limitation was having it only we can do a partial validation but you because this text feature right this text feature is only present in power automate desktop right so that is why we were able to do a uh, full validation utilizing this one and I remember text validation is also possible in XPAP but uh, for jQuery it is not possible directly so that is and one more thing I have to explain here is I told you right this text feature is not available with all uh, we can't use uh, use this text feature on all UI elements so for example uh, maybe if I go here so how you can know that whether the text feature can be used so text feature can be used how that uh, so for example if I go here click on save add UI element now if you try to indicate one UI element if you right click on it you see there is a capture based on text so if this option is present it means that uh, the text attribute can be generated but in case for example if you see you for this payment amount right if you right click on it see capture based on text is not present due to that text attribute can't be generated so in that case text attribute can't be used here can't be used here actually okay so this is one problem which uh, I could say okay so even you can validate the same like you can write a uh, if you want let's say uh, let's write a okay. two one seven four yeah so let me just try to So now let me just try to write uh, text equal to two one four seven point it doesn't work because this text attribute can't be selected here but why text attribute can't be selected the reason is if you go to the HTML structure of the same for example if you select this transaction 7 you see transaction tra 7 text can be found under HTML structure but if you go with the same with payment amount you see for the payment amount this is under input tag but this input tag doesn't contain this 2174 4.96 that is the reason why we can't use capture based on text attribute here got it uh, or you can you can't use we can't use text attribute here so this is uh, one limitation I would say okay but this option can be quite useful where if it is possible you can if there is a need to use an exact match you can directly use it in power automate desktop so that is actually one of the perfect use case or perfect use of this particular text attribute if it is possible to use and this is what I want to explain through this particular video hope you find this video useful and thank you